This is episode six, uh, Protect Yourself at All Times. And today I'm gonna break down the sport of boxing if it were associated. And when I say associated, I mean NBA, NFL, NHL, MLB, all of those are associations and leagues that make up basketball, football, baseball, and hockey. Currently in boxing, there is no association, meaning that we have Golden Boy, Top Rank, Matchroom, but they're all on their own islands kind of playing ball themselves. If we bring everything under one roof, which I believe Al Heyman kind of did that for us a couple years ago with creating the Premier Boxing Champions. With Premier Boxing Champions, you see some of the best fighters in the world with Matchroom, Golden Boy, and Top Rank. They have some of the best fighters also. It's just they're not under the Premier Boxing Champion brand. So with the board behind me and the graphics that you'll see, I'll give you a glimpse of what boxing will look like if it were associated. Let's start with the Premier Boxing Champion brand. That will be the staple of boxing. For the past couple of years, it has been the staple of boxing. When people see PBC, they are starting to identify with boxing as we do with the NBA. You just notice or you recognize that that's for basketball and the MLB is for baseball. But with this model, every promotional company will be under the PBC brand. So Golden Boy, Matchroom, top rank, even down to main events, Mayweather, Canelo, all of those promotional companies will be under the PBC model. They'll also have affiliates with those models to help out with mid-level and local level promoting. But of course, my favorite will be able to create a union, the Premier Boxing Champions Fighters Council, to where there'll be a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary of fighters, individuals that will give professional fighters a voice in the sport of boxing. That voice will regulate managers and will have standard contracts to where there's not gonna be 15 or 16 different managerial contracts floating around for fighters to sign. There'll be one standard contract for fighters to sign, even with the title sanctions. There's currently a 3% tax with what fighters have to pay to fight for world titles, sometimes even regional titles. With a fighters council, we'll be able to negotiate and regulate the title sanctions to where if 3% is not the model or not the number that we're looking to pay, then the negotiation process will take place between the title sanctions and the PBCFC, which is the Premier Boxing Champions Fighters Council. And then also we'll have continuing education to where fighters that are transitioning from amateur to pro will have a program and then fighters that are transitioning out to retirement will also have a program that will help them along the way. This is what the sport of boxing will look like if it were associated. Currently with our TV deals, top rank is with ESPN, Golden Boy and Matchroom are with DAZN, and PBC is with Fox. If you think about if the sport of boxing were associated and everything were under one roof, we could still have those TV deals with ESPN, the zone and Fox is just everything will be ran under the, the PBC model and all of the promoters and fighters will benefit from the dollars of the TV deals. For the affiliate promoters, think about how many fighters there are in the sport of boxing. Not every fighter is mainstream. Not every fighter is going to fight on the big cards of top rank golden boy or matchroom, but with our affiliate promoters, it's similar to the minor leagues or the G League and the NBA, which still professional athletes building themselves up to get to the mainstream level with each promotional company having an affiliate promotional company. This means that mid-level and local level boxing is still accommodated to and they don't have to struggle financially because the PBC and the mainstream level promoters could help finance the affiliate and the local level promoters.